Hi, can you hear me now? Hi. Hi, can you hear me now? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I, um... I just restarted my computer and Windows installed updates and every time that Windows installs updates it resets my uh, inputs and outputs in all of my programs and it's really annoying. So yeah, just de like it resets the, um, the <laughs> microphone and the stereo output for default. <laughs> Hello everybody. Sorry about that. <laughs> hi, hi Karina by the way. Long time no see. Um, hi Lady McGuffin! Anna, I, I did, I don't know if you saw that I came live, but have fun at job training. I hope it goes well. Um, hi Lady McGuffin, hi Omar, hi, hi Heritage Nomad, hi Jitset, hi Unimon, hi Pocket Ninja, hi Hedrick, hello! <laughs> you also have that problem when you voice call your friends after an update? Yeah, g'day, g'day mates, how's it going? G'day, g'day, how's it going? Um... Good to see ya. You just have been great. Uh, didn't know those crepes were very filling. <laughs> yeah, they were. Um, I am. I am. Thank you, Cinnabunning. Yes, I am feeling better today. Uh, Aiden has still been extremely fussy today, but I have been feeling better, which means I've been able to deal with it a little easier. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, yesterday was yesterday was really rough. <laughs> Hi, um, how do you feel that this is the last day in the asylum? I'm really sad. I'm really sad, but I'm also very excited because the idea of doing a um a build a city challenge with Simselves is like really appealing, and I think we're gonna have a really fun time doing that. So it's like, well, it's really sad. It'll be really sad to say goodbye to the asylum, but if we do go ahead with that I think we'll have so much fun. Hi Joe, no, you didn't miss anything. All you well, you missed me um having to reset my audio inputs because I was muted. So you know, there's that. <laughs> but hello, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're feeling a little better today, Joe. And Jet Set as well. I hope you're feeling okay today. I know you have not been getting much sleep, you poor thing. Um but yes, I, I have had a much better day today. Much better energy level and mood today. Yesterday I had... Uh, of course, Omar, if you would like to be. It's all up to you guys. I mean, if we're doing a Build a City challenge with, uh, with Simselves, then it's completely up to you guys if you want to be involved or not. <laughs> so that's, that's up to you. You're all blocked up, but you did get a massage. Oh, that's good. Well, I hope that the massage helps. Also, am I out of sync? Like my my mouth to my chat? Um, it's possible that my camera delay reset as well. Can my sim self be like Madonna? <laughs> sure. <laughs> if you really want, you need one. You want me to make you a famous entertainer? Okay, good. All right, good. Good, good, good. Um, it just looked a little bit funny to me and I wasn't sure. <laughs> I was like, oh, I hope it's fine. Because, um, yeah, my camera, um, I was uh, recording other videos today and I wasn't sure if it was in sync because I had to change some of my camera settings. It's pretty shocking my insomnia jumped to next level. Oh, rubbish. That's really hard. Oh, excuse me as I yawn. Oh, I'm so tired. Um, no, yes, I'm, I'm feeling much better. But yeah, I was saying, so Aiden is definitely in the midst of this, like, week five leap week thing. So, um, there's an app called Wonder Weeks, which you can download. Unfortunately, you have to pay for it. It's like $7. But it's like, um, yeah, apparently week five, four, five, six, you know, somewhere in that, um, spot your baby will go through a, a big developmental leap where all of their senses will sort of suddenly come into much sharper focus to what they've had as a, you know, sleepy little newborn. And so Aiden has been, my God, fussy. Like, just so quick to cry. So quick to cry and, and just not easy to soothe and, like just difficult so yesterday you know because I had no energy and I was feeling cranky it was like oh baby come on whereas today 
it's you know still been challenging to deal with him but it's been not as challenging <laughs> so yeah I've left him with Paul I'm like <laughs> good luck have fun <laughs> so yeah you built two very large beautiful 18th century mansions for your noble class well done it's a developmental stage he's got all kinds of stuff going on in his brain and body yeah I know I know for sure they also pick up on your mood yeah they do jitset I mean Joe sorry so it's <laughs> I think it's good that I'm in a better mood today much better to know the reason yeah for sure jitset because I, it's like it's it's quite off put it was, I don't know if, what the word is it's quite like shocking it's like I've had this beautiful calm baby for the last like four or five weeks and then this week he's like this little demon child I'm like what's wrong with you baby but um yeah disconcerting that's the word Joe thank you um yeah just to have him like so suddenly change but I'm hoping that we're almost through it hopefully uh we'll see how we go And then hopefully we'll be get we'll back be back to our norm, with plus smiles. Cause he was like last night after he had his bath, he was feeling really nice and happy and calm, and he started kind of um, kind of smiling at us a little bit. So that was really fun. So we're like, well, he's he's yeah he's changing. Could also be a gross bit and wants more milk. Nah. Uh, he he's pretty like he's been really difficult to feed actually. He's kind of gone off gone off his um his milk quite a bit and I don't know if that's because of what's going on in my body what's going on in his body a combination of both but he is really difficult to feed at the moment we parents are primed to blame ourselves when Bubby's unsettled what am I doing wrong absolutely hi Rich Ruger welcome thank you for the follow good to have you here yeah, definitely just said it's like what am I doing what, what why why don't you like me anymore and like it's it is really upsetting, like, as a parent, and I know all of you experienced parents will just laugh at me as I say this, but as a new mum, as a first-time mum, it's quite upsetting when all of a sudden your baby looks at you and just starts crying. <laughs> like, like, I'll pick him up and I'll hold him and I'll be like, hey, ba 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 and he's just like, yeah! <laughs> You're like, oh, <laughs> why, why don't you like me anymore? <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's it's like I'm trying my best here buddy you bowled your eyes out with your daughter in about six weeks oh <laughs> sounds like he's easily overwhelmed yeah could be what is a build a city challenge um it's basically you you start with an empty neighborhood and you build it up um, and it's lots of like uh, open for business style careers um, and, and businesses and it's really fun and you just create multiple it's like rotational play and you're just basically creating multiple legacy families um, in one big town oh thank you just said <laughs> I appreciate 2 a.m. with your daughter Joe yeah it's hard it's really hard um, but yeah, so that's the update on me <laughs> and my week. We're getting through it one day at a time and I'm just trying to remain really calm and positive and just like, oh, happy baby, happy mummy, happy baby. Um, and then I'm also overusing his swing quite a lot at the moment <laughs> because basically if you swaddle him, stick a dummy in his mouth and put him in his little swing where he can just rock, he's happy. And if he's happy, then I'm happy. Um, it feels a bit cheaty, but it's fine. <laughs> right? It's fine. <laughs> We're both still vaguely functional. It's okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Hopefully hubby's fine with him now. I did just attempt to feed him, and he, he fed well for about four minutes, and then he fussed and wiggled and came off and on and off and on for the next sort of six or seven minutes so if the swing soothes him let him be soothed yeah exactly <laughs> I'm like if he's calm I'm like taking that as a win right now because he's got so much going on 
But like, we all know what sensory overload is like, don't we? As adults, like when you get like sensory overload, it's a lot. So the fact that he's suddenly, and I did notice as well, like all of a sudden he's a lot more sensitive to sound this week. Like, um, previously in the, in his first month, you know, like the dogs would start barking or whatever, and he'd just be like completely oblivious. But then yesterday, the poor kid, he was like, he was nursing and he was actually having a really good little nurse and he was like all cozy and he was like getting lots of milk. And then the dogs went off barking and he jumped and started crying. And I was like, oh, Bubba, it's all right. <laughs> the poor little thing. So yeah, I think all of a sudden it's just everything suddenly a lot sharper and clearer to him. And he's just going like, wow, this is a lot. Anywho, um... I hope you're all doing well. <laughs> so, uh, and I will survive this week. I will survive oh, as long as I can love my baby. I know we'll stay alive. Okay. Um, back in the asylum. So, welcome back, everybody. Um, I'm still really sad that Maxie passed. Uh, R.I.P. Maxie. Here he is in his little urn here on the, uh, the, the hall table. May he rest in peace. Now we did get rid of the extra lounge chair um, to make up for the fact that we had a sim die. Um, and I think for the Builder City Challenge, we will probably attempt to bring Maxi back to life. Um, but for now, he's gonna remain dead. So where we got up to with uh, our sim Nini here, who is almost, almost done with her lifetime wish. She actually just needs one more logic skill point and she does need two more family friends. Um, but I think she's got like a couple of Sims who she's almost friends with and we just pretty much need to call them up on the phone and have a chat. Yeah, so we just need to call up Shelby, we just need to call up Damon and then um, we should have those two extra family friends that we need. So let's go ahead and maybe give those guys, uh, is Karina on the phone? Oh, no. Let's give those guys a call now and say hello. I can't wait to give you all a better life. Um, yeah, so let's call Damon. Damon, Matt Damon, um, and have a chat. Water, I have water. Who's slapping? Who's slapping? Bethy and Lily, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go, so we made a friend. And then we want to stargaze tonight, which we will do. And hopefully we'll get our logic skill point. Okay, let's uh, stop talking to him. Because we've been talking to him for long enough. I know there are times I'd love to go back to a womb-like place. Uh, safe from sensory overload. Yeah. Forgotten the name for them. Those tanks with a full bath of Epsom salts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something where you can just relax in the quiet dark warmth for an hour or two. Definitely. Um, we have... We give Aiden a bath every night as well, and we do find that the bath really soothes him. So what we do, yeah, isolation tank. Yeah, what we do is like one of us gets in the bath with him and we just sort of hold him and the other person will sort of, you know, like help wipe him and just be there to help out extra set of hands. Um, and he tends to just go completely relaxed in the bath and he'll just like fall asleep and just sort of <laughs> la, It's really nice for him and we um, he really likes having his little ears under the water so he can You know, it just like dampens all the sound and he's just like, oh, it's so nice So he does love that for sure Okay, are we friends with This chick again we are good job Okay, there's one more person I'm going to call for a quick chat, which is this chick, Janny, because we're almost not friends with her anymore. Oh, poor Lily. Just sobbing her eyes out. Uh, Karina is having a great old relax over here on the bed. She's just daydreaming about the postman. Karina apparently... Oh, and this guy with the graying hair. So that's apparently who you want to be uh, matched up with. Hendrix enjoying a very, very relaxing bubble bath. Good for you, Hendrick. Looks like Lily is really mad that she's not in the bubble bath. Uh, let's stop talking to her now and come and stargaze. Uh, then we have Joe, who is going to admire Lily, and Lily is going to absolutely not be a fan of that. 
Jo <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Good try. Good, good try getting along with the other Sims. <laughs> Karina. <laughs> yeah, good try getting along with the other Sims. Now we're trying to cheer her up. Let's see if we manage to cheer Lily up. Oh, there we go. Okay, that one was more successful, so that's nice. Right, then we also have uh, someone asleep over here. Anna is asleep over here. Um, and then we have Charlotte asleep over there. And who's asleep in here? Bethy! Me, I'm asleep too. You don't see that too often? Yeah. Week-long meditation retreats in silence. Oh, geez. I don't know if I'd be able to do that. <laughs> I think I'd go stir crazy with the silence. <laughs> I find, for me, relaxation does often involve sound of some description, whether that be like white noise, rain noise, meditating to like a, um, a meditation track, you know, like with some binaural beats or some relaxing music or just someone talking in a, in a soothing, soothing voice. Um, yeah, I don't know if I could do pure silence for a week. I think I'd get sick of the sound of my own thoughts. Love it when they cheer each other up like that. Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? Oh, I have, I think I have spit up in my hair. It's okay. Just going to ignore that. Oh, okay. So now uh, Joe and Hendrik are having a little chat in the kitchen. I think Joe just admired Hendrik and he very shyly was like, oh, you're so nice. You always have white noise to fall asleep to ceiling fan. Yeah, yeah. I find pure silence a little, um, I don't know, it's like a little too much. <laughs> Is that weird? I don't know. Oh, thank you, Lily, for cleaning the bathtub. She's like, ah, oh, the beautiful stars. So pretty. Wow. What a beautiful night sky we have the pleasure of stargazing into. Ah, oh, one day I shall be amongst the stars. Maybe she's like getting some notes for her class that she's going to teach or something. Also, this randomly reminds me that this morning I had the song Stars from um, Les Miserables in my head. Just singing it in the shower this morning, as you do. Haven't done one of those retreats, but I do think they have a leader and they have natural noises, chimes, waterfalls. Oh, okay. Okay. But participants can't talk and they confiscate your phone. I could handle all that. I just need my caffeine. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to detox for a week before going. <laughs> like, I'd have to wean myself off of caffeine. Because <laughs> otherwise I'd just be cranky and I'd have a headache. <laughs> I hear every single neighborhood noise or from the house if you don't have a fan going. Yep. You have your diffuser and humidifier, Joe. Yeah. You just listen to like three songs from Ariana Grande and like two songs from Cyndi Lauper. Okay, yeah. Really de-stresses you plus inhale and exhale. Yeah, breathing, like breath work um, and doing deep conscious breathing really helps me as well, for sure. Lavender Peace Essential Oil Blend. Mm, that'd be nice. Do you know what? I bought um, some lavender essential oil. Um for my hospital bag and I never ended up taking it to hospital. So I've still just got it in my house. I should use that. You've had Seekers and Olivia song in your head all week? Oh, Jet Set, that's sad. You mean wallowing, basically. Mindfulness activities are good? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was never, like, I don't know the Seekers as much. Um... But Olivia, that really hit me. Because I was like, I was such a Grease fanatic when I was a kid. Man. So yeah, that one, that one did definitely hit me. Buddhist retreat would have a lot of breath work. Yeah. No, I like conscious breathing. I got really good at, um, at breathing to calm myself. Of course I know that song, Joe. Yeah, that should be our Australian national anthem, in my opinion. Just saying. Um, like, we should totally have that as our national anthem, apart from whatever the heck we have. Australians all let us rejoice. For we are young and free. 
Um, yeah, Olivia, so sad. I have to check in with my dad, actually, because he was a big fan. Okay, so now we have Anna and Shala having a lovely little moment together over here in the purple polka dot bedroom. You've seen it on YouTube a lot this week? Yeah. Uh, I'm taking a nice bubble bath. Oh, good job, Bethy. That's a good idea. Everyone wants it for the national anthem. Well, we should, in honour of... Um, I'm sorry, I've blanked on her name. I'm just thinking about Olivia Newton-John. What? Oh my god, this is embarrassing. But in honour of her and her passing, we should uh, make it the new Australian national anthem. Hendrick has just earned a cooking skill point. Also, hello, Jessica B. Welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Good job, Hendrick. It looks like you're making, like, spaghetti or something like that. Let's see. Let's watch you cook. Mmm. The Judith. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. My head. Um. But yes, we should do that. We should, we should, in honour of her, we should make it our national anthem. Oh, he did! You made spaghetti and meatballs. Nice. That's really, that yummy. What's going on in the living room? Lily's passed out on the uh, the Mr. Berry Butts chair. <laughs> As you do. Joe's angry about something. Um, and Sharla and Anna are still just loved up. So that's really cute. Sharla and Anna will have to let me know if they want me to keep their sim selves together in the Builder City Challenge or if they want to, you know, venture out and have other partners. So if Sharla and Anna, if you watch this, Hey, Lord Crabs! How are you doing, my darling? Good to see you. Um, there I am with the pet names. Hey, baby. Um, but yeah, they'll have to... If you guys are watching this in the in the catch-up, Anna or Sharla, um, send me a message or disc on Discord and let me know. Do you want me to keep you guys as a couple after we leave the asylum? Or would you like to uh, have other people in your lives? Asylum, asylum, asylum! <laughs> I like how everybody's up right now. <laughs> oh no, wait, there's one other person asleep. That's Nini. Oh no, that's me, wait. Karina's asleep with me, okay. <laughs> we should make the national anthem an Olivia Newton-John song. Votes for what one? Oh, jeez. Well, good to know we still have some fights going on in the asylum. I don't know. You're Gracie, huh? <laughs> Just found out mum's finally moving to rehab today. Yay! Oh, that's really good news. That's really good news, little crumbs. I'm really happy to hear that. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm much better today. I've just, I've still been dealing with a really cranky baby all day, but, you know, his daddy's got him right now, so we're fine. You want We Are Australian? Yeah, I want that song as well. Vote one, physical. <laughs> Let's get physical, physical. Do you guys remember the episode of Glee where Olivia Newton-John uh, cameoed and did that song with um, with the sports teacher? I've forgotten her name. I haven't seen Glee in a hot minute, but... <laughs> Hello, Dina. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Is your username based on Dina Caliente? Because if so, I salute you. Um, Twist of fate, because that is Australia at the moment. Yeah, true. It has history, acknowledgement of Native Australians, and it's really touching. Oh, I agree. Dare to Dream song that Olivia and John sang at the Olympics. Oh, yeah, that was nice. I remember that. I remember that. Oh, jeez. They're brawling again. <laughs> now that Maxie's dead, uh, Bethy and Lily have nothing to do but just fight each other. <laughs> oh, awesome. Your name is Azaldina Caliente. Yeah, she's, she's awesome, isn't she? If you've ever seen um, Big Mouth's Sims 2 Machinima series on uh, YouTube, then, like, that series alone made me fall in love with Dina. Just the way that she has, like, personified Dina. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Gotta make some phone calls? No worries, hun. Have fun. The gold digger herself, love her. Ooh, one of the new um, custom Lifetime wants in the modded lifetime want pack from Lamar is actually a gold digger lifetime want. I'm so happy. I can't wait to use that one. I think that's gonna be really fun. I don't actually have it in this um, downloads folder. 
Uh, but I did put in shiftable everything, if any of you want to have a look at that mod. While we're here, because um, I was like, we should show this mod off. Alright, how are we doing? Are we all messed up? Not quite yet. Everyone's so green. I'm used to seeing so much more like red in the uh, <laughs> in the needs panel. You're loving shift everything? Good. So you did install it in the end then, Joe. Have you still got um, sweet down low in? Or are you just using shift everything? I haven't played with it that much yet, to be honest. I agree, Jet Set. I agree. You removed it all, yeah. Yeah. Who, what, when, and why. Yeah, definitely. Dina is a gold digger, but I feel she provides value in return. She understands the situation and that she's the hot blonde trophy wife and makes it worth his while. Yeah, true. Hey, Mirror's Edge. Good to see you. How you doing today? All right, let's come out and uh, serve some breakfast. So we're going to serve some toast and oatmeal. That sounds good. So we do have work today. Unfortunately, we have not gotten that logic skill point that we need just yet. Uh, but we can, maybe we should actually, no, yeah, that's actually stargaze for a bit while it's still dark, just for the next like half an hour. Doing amazing. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. I am doing well. Thank you. For a, for a first time mum with a five and a half week old baby, I'm actually, I think I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> doing, uh, yeah, you don't like Advanced Australia Fair at all. Yeah. No, it's horrible. It's it's a it, when you actually like listen to the lyrics, it's really horrible, particularly to our um, to our indigenous people. Our home is dirt by sea. <laughs> oh dear. The lyrics, yeah, it's awful. I wonder, who do we have to, like... No, yeah, it's... It is arrogant. It is, yeah. I think that's the right word. It's it's very, like, white privilege. It's old. It's, like, it's outdated. It's, like, no, we're not about that anymore. Not very inclusive of all, all Australians. Yeah. You're this close to installing the Nude Lifetime once, and I want the shiftable mod. It would have to weed out the SDLs I have. Oh, Okay. So it would take you a little bit of work. Fair enough. The, um, yeah, the Lifetime Once, by the way, is really, uh, not horrible to install. Um, and editing the SimPE file, if you do need to do that, quite easy. I will say. <laughs> Don't mind the girt line, it's the most of the rest that's objectionable. <laughs> Fair. Oh, making out in the bathroom. Girls, please. I'm not young, so I'm left out. Of what? I don't remember what I said. <laughs> you want to install that mod too? You're scared of conflicts? Uh, if you took, yeah, so if you're talking about the Lifetime Wants mod, um, it's, it's not horrible. What if you ruin your game? Yeah. Oh, we are young and free. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm old, so. <laughs> to make this commonwealth of ours renowned of all the lands. Well, if we don't, if we're, if we become a republic, we'll have to get rid of it then. Half the reason I hate Advanced Australia Fair is from when we always had to sing it at assemblies in like two degree weather in the winter and 40 degree heat in summer. <laughs> Memories. Uh, the shiftable mod. Uh, oh, no, no, no. There's like no known conflicts with the shiftable mod. You should be, you should be completely fine to install that one. It should go straight in and not cause any dramas. Ah, oh, Karina's got her mop friend out again. I love you so much, mop. You are my one true love. Ah, oh, you're so cute. Wait, were you guys watching? Um, okay, well that was awkward. I'm just gonna leave the room now. <laughs> they changed it to one and free? Really? I think I missed that memo. 
<laughs> it seems like an important memo to uh, to get, but I think I missed that. <laughs> I'm happy with the full new 50 lifetime wants. I would just swap the ones I don't want with the chooser. Yeah, yeah. I'm more worried about balking my hood because I have one of the other uni job lifetime wants. Ah, oh, fair enough. Hey, Lupo. Welcome. Good to see you. T, do you think uh, at the level seems to reach? So many things happen. We... No, I don't. I don't, Dina. And the reason I say no is because uh, someone actually asked about that. Um, hang on a sec. My music just got loud and it's put me off. Someone actually asked Lamar, uh, Lamar about that um, on on Tumblr, and I saw the I saw their response. So Lamar is obviously the person who just did the 52 lifetime once. Um, and she basically said there's pretty much no way. There's pretty much no way because it would just be way too much. She said there would be so many like systems that you'd have to edit. It's probably not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, me and Lady McGuffin are like, oh. <laughs> What extension do I use for the background music? My darling, this is uh, YouTube. <laughs> it is a playlist on YouTube. That's all. Just copyright free music. Yeah, um, let me show you Shift Everything, um, who Heritage Nomad. So check this out. Whee! So if you don't know, with, um, uh, what was it? Apartment Life? We got the ability to shift some things up and down, like wall deco. Uh, you know, we, with the uh, the bracket keys. Uh, yes, Mirror's Edge, I have it installed. I do have it installed. I'll talk about that in a sec. Um, but yeah, so now a modder has made it so we can shift absolutely anything that we want. And it's so good. I'm so happy. So... The thing I'm most happy about is, like, uh, miscellaneous deco and, like, sculptures. So I can literally just, like, pick this, um, this little hat box up if I want. I'll turn on move objects. And I can just pop that on top of my, my wardrobe here. It's, like, not perfect, but how good's that? It's amazing! Can't believe it. Um... Yeah, I think, I think there's so many, like, endless possibilities as well. Like, I was doing a lot as a test the other day, and I, were, I realized that I can shift this chair up, right? And I can make it look like it's kind of sitting on the wall. So if this was, like, a furniture store, it could be, like, a display of, like, a chair hanging on the wall. Or, and I meant to try this, um, I could get this guitar, maybe? Um, do I have a guitar that hasn't got an amp attached? Let's see. I think I do. I think I have a, yeah, an acoustic one. Check this out. And I could just like, and I could do this for like a music store and I could have all my guitars like up on the wall. How cool is this? Yeah, it works. No, it works for everything, Jitset. Everything. So yeah, that's shift everything. Sorry, now I've got to uh, catch up on chat. Uh, it is available on uh, Tumblr and I think maybe Mod The Sims. Uh, Joe, do you want to find a link for us for, for Shift Everything? You can pop that in chat. The furniture is possessed. <laughs> yeah, it's just so nice not having to use OMSPs, definitely. Okay, now what's happening in... I think I just caught up on chat. What's happening in the house? All right, so we have Bethy and Charlotte playing toss the football outside. Anna's like, honey, honey, I'm in the mood for some loving. Um, can you just uh, pay attention to me here for a moment, um, please? Looks like Karina's on her couch. No, Joe's on the couch having a nap. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, Karina's just had a nice bath. Hendrick, as usual, is sitting over here daydreaming. 
Uh, you seem to be interested in a lot of townies, Hendrik, so I guess we'll be uh, pairing you off with a townie <laughs> in the Builder City Challenge. I know the community is amazing, aren't they? All MSPs were a good idea, but poorly executed. They, I think all MSPs will still have their uses um, because a lot of them are slightly offset. So, like, for example, that hat box that didn't quite sit perfectly on top of this uh, wardrobe, I could use an OMSP to, to make it sit there perfectly. Now that Maxie's gone, who will be the next enemy of the rest of the house? I don't know. It depends if anyone else tries to break up these two. I think that'll be the real thing. Um, like, if someone tries to come in between Anna and Sharla, uh, we'll be in trouble. OMSPs were revolutionary for the time, though, for sure. Yes, and you can still do underground and angled. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, because I've got, like, the whole set of OMSPs that are, like, yeah, below ground and flipping on their sides and, like, all kinds of stuff that you can do. So they, they will still have their uses. The mop. What about the mop? Is that who you want to be uh, paired off with, Karina? <laughs> In the Builder City Challenge. Oh, answering. Oh, <laughs> no, no, that's funny. That's funny. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Okay, I have a chance card and Nini's not here to tell me what she would do. So this is hard. Dean Nini is having trouble with a particularly fr particular fraternity on campus, the Zigabugagoos. The young men have a tendency to conduct pranks on facility... Uh, Facility members? I feel like that, sh that should say faculty members. Um, throw obnoxious parties and crash the homecoming parade every year with unnecessary fireworks and gaudy rock music. Nini has had enough. There are really only two ways to deal with a fraternity this misbehaved. Kick the chapter off campus or pay a sorority to sabotage their social status. Nini is pretty sure both methods would work, but she isn't sure which one is best. What should she do? Quick, think like Needy. What would she do? Oh no. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, Joe. Absolutely, Union One. That's fine. Um, I don't know what Needy. Can I ignore this because Needy's not here to tell me what to do? Uh. Would she just kick him off? Would she just be like straight down the line? Like, nah, you're out? Or would she do the... Karina says kick. I feel like Nini would go for the straight, straight up, just kick him out. I'm tempted to go with this one and see what happens. But I, this is like, this is big time. Like, quick guys, because this is going to have a timer on it. Do we kick them off campus? Or do I just ignore it? <laughs> Quick, quick chat, quick, help me. I'm nervous, kick, kick. All right, you guys are saying kick. If this goes wrong, it's your fault. Nini is so confident in her decision that she drafts the Zigabugger Goose's expulsion notice immediately. After a short lunch, Nini returns to her office to find the leaders of the fraternity gathered around her desk. All of them begin begging Nini in the hopes that she will reduce their punishment. Nini, sensing an opportunity, agrees to reduce their punishment to probation if every member of the fraternity agrees to a semester of community service to which they agree for diplomatically resolving such a troubling situation. <laughs> Nini is promoted to education minister. What? What? We did it. Are you serious? Huh, what? Oh! Oh! We're taking a photo, wait. Uh, this is amazing. I would just like to thank um, my mum, my dad, everyone in chat. Um, you guys as just being the most amazing YouTube audience. Oh, this is a really emotional moment. Uh, we just, we did it. We win! We win! I completed the challenge! And only one sim died! <laughs> what? Oh my... What? But we're only 43 minutes into tonight's stream! <laughs> 
What? Oh no! What do we do? We win. Huh? Education minister level ten. Feel free to bottom out my aspiration meter. <laughs> All right, wait. Um, Joe. Okay, so let's 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 take let's take a look at all of the Sims. Okay, Joe wants to celebrate with a lampshade dance. We will get that to happen. Max motives for Mirror's Edge. <laughs> I I think I think we've earned that. Yes. Have Sims get makeovers? Yeah. No, but let's um let's have a look at everyone. Um. Okay, so we're we're doing good. We're doing great. We want to bring Maxi back to life. Maybe we could try bringing Maxi back to life. That would be fun. Okay, so let's have a look. Anna. Anna is actually doing pretty well. Her aspiration is in the green. She's fairly happy. I think obviously because she um, has had her relationship with Sharla going on. that that's And she's a romance sim. So I think that's like kept her, um, her mood up quite substantially. We will. We will, Joe. Absolutely. Then we have Hendrik. Now, Hendrik, my darling, you have been such a wonderful member of this asylum. Unfortunately, your aspiration is like quite, quite low, <laughs> quite low in the red. Um, so we can do something to make you a little happier. Hey, thank you for the bits, Karina. <laughs> asylum challenge win. Wow, that's so generous. A thousand bits. Thank you. Much love. Um, but yeah, so Hendrik, this is how you're looking. Joe. Yeah, I think, I think honestly, if you guys got into like this section of the aspiration meter, this is when we start seeing the aspiration fails. You have a bank of cheer bits? Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's when we start seeing it. So yeah, you're like almost there. Uh, because yeah, so this is, this is where Karina's at. Poor Karina. So you're like, you're in that very bottom one. So I think that's why we were seeing you dancing with your mop, your mop friend <laughs> quite a lot. Um, so yeah, there we go. Then Lily is not doing too hot either. She's quite low in the red. Uh, then we have Sharla. Sharla's also doing pretty good, really. So she's in the green. Um, because she has had her relationship going on. And then my sim self... Uh, yeah, very similar stage. <laughs> Hilarious watching you fall apart, yeah. <laughs> Poor thing. So yeah, Joey wants to have a lampshade dance. So let's just, um, these are minus. Let's try this. All right, Joe. Give us a lamp, give, give us a lampshade dance, please, love. Let's have a look. Let's see how long it takes you to do it. This is insane. I can't believe we just won the asylum challenge. What the hell? <laughs> okay, and then, so do we, should we actually score us? Should we score ourselves? Because there is like full on like scoring for the asylum challenge as well. So we could calculate a score. If you guys were interested in that. So I can show you guys. Tell you to get up. Okay, wait. Enough watching TV, Joe. Come over here, please. <laughs> Being a couch potato. How you feeling, Joe? How you feel? How you feeling, Joe? You're gonna tell a dirty joke to Anna. So apparently you're still feeling pretty good. How, how's it going, Joe? <laughs> Here you go, Joe. Here you go. <laughs> Could be interesting. Yeah, we'll score it. We'll score it just for funsies. There we go. Got my screenshots. <laughs> okay, this is really 
funny. I don't think I've ever seen the lampshade dance before, but that was definitely worth it. <laughs> that was great. Oh, I love that. There it is. There it is. Yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> I always keep my sims too happy. They don't do lampshade. They don't do aspiration fails in my towns. <laughs> yeah, that is a perfect use of the dirt face there, Lady McGuffin. Sound effects and all, yeah. Let's see she does it again. That was amazing. Um, but yeah, so let me show you the scoring. Okay. Uh, so let's zoom in. So you guys can read. Okay, so you begin with 100 points. Right, let's get a calculator. Because I'm lazy. So we begin with 100. Okay. Never used influence. Plus 20 points. Yes. Each skill point your living fellow patients have, we get plus one point. All right. So Anna has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Very good. Yeah, playing once based. Yeah, 100%. You just don't see it. Okay, so that's Anna. Hendrik. Hendrik, you managed to max out your creativity skill, my dude. Congrats to you. So we've got 10, 13, 14, 15 points from Hendrik. That's amazing. Uh, did I do that right? I don't think I did. Did I just... Wait, no. So it was... Yeah, no, I typoed that. 100 plus 20 plus 13 plus 15. There we go. Okay, and then we have... Uh... Random scenario. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was 132. I typoed it because I'm a doofus. All right, so then Joe had two cooking... A cleaning, so that's three. And then she's got seven creativity skills. So that gives us 10 points for Joe. Very good. Karina, you have three cooking skill points. Ooh. Uh, four logic. You're quite smart. Good job. You have six creativity and four cleaning. So three, seven, 11, 17. You got 17. Wow. Solid job. Okay. Then Lily has two cooking, uh, that's five logic, three creativity, one cleaning. So that gives us five, 10, 11, 11 points for Lily. So Karina, right now you're winning on the amount of skill points. Sharla has eight creativity, wow, two cooking. So that's 10, uh, one logic, two cleaning. So 13. Okay. And then Bethy has two cooking, two logic, two cleaning, and six creativity. So that is 10, 12. <laughs> I wish that were IRL, true. No, nah, you're doing great. Uh, did I say 12? I did say 12. Okay. All right, so we're up to 211 points now. Okay, so each 1,000 aspiration points your living fellow patients have... Uh, add them all together, then round up is plus one point. All right, so let's have a look at that. Okay, so we have, I'm going to need like a separate calculator. Do winning and losing fights get counted? No idea, Joe. Okay, so our calculator right now is on 211. I'm just going to scribble that down. Okay, so we'll remember that. So she's got 13,250. Hey, Alex. Well done. Welcome, welcome. Um, so we totally, we, we won. Uh, we beat the asylum. We're tallying our points. <laughs> yeah, so very exciting. Okay, so 13,250 for Anna. Hendrix got 13,500. Okay, and then Joe has 4,750. Oh, poor Joe. Yeah, we got a lucky chance card. 4750. Okay. Karina has 23,500. Karina, you've like... How did you end up with the lowest aspiration when you have like <laughs> the most skill points and the most aspiration reward points? <laughs> oh, right, Joe, we did. That was minus 100, wasn't it? I'll add that back on. Uh, so... Uh, at 100, add 23,500. Yeah, you're killing it. 
Okay, then Lily had 12,250. Okay, and then Sharla had 19,750. That's quite a lot. Okay, and then Bethy had... Oh! <laughs> okay, I've officially bottomed out. <laughs> 2,500. Bum, bum. All right, so that gives us 89,600. So we'll round that up to 90,000 aspiration reward points, which gives us 90 extra points. So we go back to our 211 and then we plus 90. So we're on 301 points so far. Right. Each friend of the household is a plus one point. Uh, so we have a lot of family friends, don't we? Oh, can I not see? Oh, jeez. <sighs> okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Did anyone else have any friends? You're also friends with Anne, but I think we already counted her. Yep. Um, <laughs> she hates me. Okay, yeah, thirteen points for family friends. Do you have any plans after you're done with the asylum? Yes, we're going to do a Builder City challenge, I reckon. Okay. 13 family friends. That's pretty good. I'd Man, imagine trying to do that in The Sims 1. Good lord. Okay, and then... The bad. Every Sim day that you remain institutionalized, minus one point. Oh, jeez. Um... Okay, I'll work that out in a minute. Each roommate's death is minus 20, so we need a minus 20. <laughs> Uh, so 314 minus 20. 294. Yeah, Sims age. That's what we'll go by. So. Um, 22 days. So I think that means we were in the in the asylum for 40. Wait, what? Why is Nini older? Oh no, I made her older, so she would be top of the um top of the list. Right, so 25 days. So my adult lifespan is 62 days. So what is that? <laughs> Someone do 62 minus uh, 25 for me. 42, 37. Is that 37? Yeah, that would be 37. Thanks, Hendrik. <laughs> 257. Oh, am I going to start it after we're done with tallying? Maybe. We have to see if we can bring um, bring Maxi back from the dead. <laughs> Be bad at maths. Okay, is that all? 257 points? I think it is. Well, that's not bad. Right? That's a pretty good score. Could we, like, compare Asylum Challenge scores somewhere? 257 points, everybody. Good job. Good job. Oh, yeah, the fights. Oh, but I want to see Maxie's. I want to see how many fights Maxie did. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, well, let's have a look. Okay, I'm going to need a notepad. <laughs> Hold on. All right, uh, I'll go back to this so you guys can see chat on screen. Okay, so let's start with Anna. Okay, so... <laughs> Oh boy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. She won 32 fights. And lost. I say plus one for each win and minus one for each loss. Joe, that wouldn't make any sense because that would just even out. Because in every fight, there was one winner and one loser. Although Maxi did die, so maybe we'd come out on top because he did lose a lot of fights. But yeah, let's see how many she lost. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All of these are against Maxi too. 26. So she lost 26. Hey, eh? well, Anna came out with a, a... She won more than she lost. Okay. Very good. You know what we should do? We should minus one point for each bladder fail. <laughs> That'd be funny. All right, Hendrik. I don't think Hendrik got into a single fight. So good job, Hendrik. Yeah, we should do awards like in Mario Party. Fight award, friend award, skill award. I love it. I love it, Hendrik. And they can be like cash rewards for the start of the Builder City Challenge. Yeah. You get an award, Hendrik, for being for not getting in a single fight. <laughs> okay, Joe. Joe, you did you've been brawling too. Um Okay, so let's count up your wins. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 wins. That's a cool idea. You get the pacifist award. Yeah, you do. 100%. Uh, okay. Right. And then so you lost. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen. You lost fifteen fights. So you also came out on top. <laughs> True Nobel Peace Prize, yeah. Why did everyone hate Maxi so much? Everyone fell in love with him. <laughs> so, yeah, that happened. Alright, Karina, I don't think you got into any fights either, so you also get a pacifist award. Uh, zero fights. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Maxi was too hot to handle, yeah. Although, Karina, you're going to get the skill award, skill point award, so maybe we'll give Hendrik the pacifist award because he really was the peacekeeper. Um, okay, Lily, goodness. You're fine with that? Okay, good. <laughs> Does anyone know the song, um, So Hot You're Hurting My Feelings by someone whose name I can't remember? So hot you're hurting my feelings, can't deal. Because that's what Maxi reminded me of. <laughs> All right, so Lily, uh, let's do her one fights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Good lord, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. 36 wins, goodness me. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, and then lost fights, let's see. Did we have a fire? When did we have a fire? Hi Milo, welcome. Good to have you here. <laughs> Most win awards maybe, yeah. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Oh my goodness. Milo, thank you so much for subscribing with your Prime sub for another month. Really appreciate that. Thank you. So, okay, guys. Lily got into... Let me just show you this. Like, I'm doing... as I'll do as well, like, uh, total. So, we'll do total fights. For Anna was uh, 68. No, 58. Sorry, I can math. Um, Joe total was 36. <laughs> Lily's total over here, 76 fights total. My goodness. <laughs> she beat up brawling hard. That's crazy. Oh, my word. Yeah. <laughs> Lost fights instead. All right, Charlotte. 
Did you get into any fights, Sharla? No, she didn't. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so Sharla, zero fights. Well done, Sharla. And then, Bethy, you were brawling with Lily all the time, so let's see how you did. Lily, see, Lily got into so many fights because she was brawling with Maxie and Bethy. So, yeah. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Oh no, although Bethy was brawling with Maxie and Lily as well. Ooh, let's see who did the most fights out of me and Lily. Okay, one, two, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 44 one fights. Dude, I'm literally like, if I actually got into a, a fight, I would just like roll over and let, and just be bashed. <laughs> I would not fight back, but that's okay. Okay, then we'll do lost fights. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39! I'm the winner! Yes! <laughs> okay, total fights for Bethy uh, is 83. I swear, I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> okay, so this is our this is our tally here for fights. So I won the most and I was in the most. Hey, Josh Drake, welcome. Um, I don't know how many Maxi would have been in. Probably the most out of anyone. Um, <laughs> so if we bring Maxi back from the dead, will he have his memories or will they have been wiped? Does anyone know? Or does it depend on how we bring him back from the dead? Because I would like to know. I think he will. Spawn him while still being dead and look it up. Good idea. Good idea. Let's do it. Let's have a look. Yeah, keep the game paused. Yeah, let's do it. Um, okay, so spawn... He'll be in here somewhere, I think. Whoops. Spawn. Here he is. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Fear they might be corrupted. No, I have, I have all the anti-corruption mods, so we'll be okay. Um, okay, so Maxi, may you rest in peace. Hello, my darling. <laughs> this is going to take me a while to uh, count all of these fights. Um, so, just bear with me. Ahem. <clears throat> Alright. Let's count how many fights he won. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, twenty, eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 60, oh jeez, yeah, no, they do, Hendrick, yeah, no, they do. This is um, the ultimate collection and we have had an asylum challenge uh, where everybody in the house felt, pretty much everybody in the house fell in love with this guy right here. Um, and so then he started upsetting everyone by cheating on everyone and breaking up relationships. We just won the challenge. So we're having a look at what happened. <laughs> uh, if you're not familiar with an asylum challenge, Josh, basically what it is, is we only were able to control as like, you know, God, this one sim here, uh, Nini. So everyone else was just on autopilot. Um, and we have the, the, um, 
autonomous casual romance mod. So, yeah. Alright, now let's have a look at how many fights he lost. This ought to be fun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Thank you for the follow, Josh. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, God, 58, 59, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 71, 72, 72, he lost 72, oh my gosh, so he still lost more than he won, which brings his total amount of fights to 132, 132 fights. But I think I still win the Brawler Award because I was the only one who won more fights than I lost. Oh no, Joe did too. No, Joe did too. Okay, I lied. Never mind. And Anna did. Never mind. <laughs> Hi, Asa. No worries. Hope you've been having a good day. Thank you. Yeah, you won more than you lost, Joe. You won 21, you lost 15. So well done. And Anna won 32, lost 26. So really... Yeah, we could all get a Brawler Award. But yeah, Maxi, 132 fights. <laughs> Cheapest. Cheapest creepers. That's what happens with when everyone falls in love with you, Maxi. Okay, so then, so if we were to do, like, um, the Asylum Challenge Awards. Asylum Challenge Awards. We would have uh, the Brawler. Most fights. One, which would be Maxi. Then we would have the Pacifist, which would have to be Hendrick. Uh, the Friendly Face. So who was the one who was the most friends with everyone else in the household? And I think that was Joe. Yeah, Joe, look at you. So you had... <laughs> uh, I don't think so. It might be, Jit said. It might be. But yeah, you were 100 over 100 with literally all of us, apart from Maxi, I think. So yeah, uh, Charlotte, me, Hendrik, Lily, Nini, Anna, and Karina. You were, you were best, you were BFFs with all of us, Joe. So congrats. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't think anyone else had that. Uh, no, because Bethy and Lily hated each other. Bethy, Bethy was close. Although, wait. Yeah, you were fighting Maxie. Wait a minute. I have to think about this. Was there anyone who was friends with everyone and wasn't mad at Maxie? So that would be out of Karina and Sharla. So it might actually be Sharla and Karina who win the Friendly Face Award. Yeah. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Hendrik. Oh, your relationships aren't quite as high and you're not friends with Nini. Sorry, Hendrik. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Okay, so yeah, the Friendly Face... Sad Yoshi. Yeah, the friendly face would go to Sharla and Karina. Okay, the most skilled uh, is Karina. What else, guys? What other awards should we have for the Asylum Challenge? <laughs> clap, clap. If anyone has more ideas, put them in chat. So this is what we've got. So I know you guys can't really see this. Can I like zoom in? Oh, I can. Sorry. There we go. Now you can see. Asylum Challenge Award. Need failures? Lowest aspiration points? Thank you. I'll take that, Asa. Lowest aspiration points. Uh, we'll call this the... Um, 
<laughs> it gets better. No, that's like, no, I won't call it that because that's something for LGBTQ. Um, I'll call it the bottom of the barrel award. Oh, poor Joe won nothing. Do the memories repeat? Uh, we'll have to have a look, Hendrick. We'll have to have a look. Uh, bottom of the barrel award, that goes to Bethy. Lowest aspiration points. Aww. Okay. Uh, need failures. Oh, the low achiever. Yes, no, I like that even better. That's better. The low achiever. <laughs> Poor Bethy. Lampshade Dance Award? Oh, I love it. Um, okay, so... Need failures. Well, I know Maxi peed himself a few times. So let's see. We've got one there. And that's all. So I feel like me. Oh no, two. Three. <laughs> four. Maxi peed himself four times. <laughs> the highest level of aspiration. That's a good one as well. That would also go to Karina. Oh no, Nini would win that. I'm not including Nini in any of this. Oh, but that's okay. But yeah, Maxi would win the uh, the PP award. Yes. The most positive experiences slash memories is that not including fights because fights would skew that quite a lot. So we'd have to probably do that minus fights. So need fails. That would be maxi. <laughs> uh, I've just realized I've done this wrong. That is a lot to count. <laughs> There's quite a few Sims who were happy about Maxi dying. Um, let's see, let's see if I can do it without it taking forever. The most romantic Sim? Well, that would be Maxi too. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see, let's see. So we got one, two, three. And I won't count I won't count these ones. I'm definitely the least romantic, definitely. Maxing a skill? Skill to the max. Hendrik, congratulations, you get that one. Most positive memories. Okay, so Anna had... Thirty-seven. Hendrick, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Most positive memories. Okay. Thirty-two. I'm just gonna make my life easier here. <laughs> okay, so Joe. God, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, two, three, two, four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Twenty-nine for Joe. Your uncle can speak. <laughs> hey, Uncle Crumps. Oh, Uncle Crumps. He sounds so nice. 
Well, so while you were gone, uh, we won. We completed the asylum. <laughs> we did it. So now we're um, doing asylum challenge awards and uh, tallying up how, how good we did. Okay, so Karina, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 2, 2, 3, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 2, 7, 2, 8, 2, 9, 30, 31, 32, 33. Nice. Uh, 33. There we go. Okay. Lily. Hmm. One. Oh, wait. Where am I? I'm in the middle of nowhere. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, uh, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty
out of Anna, Lily, and Maxi? I would say probably Anna, because Anna found like a real romance, and her aspiration was like probably the almost the highest by the end. Yeah, so I would say maybe Anna. Pleasant experiences. Yeah, I think I think I would say I think I would say Anna. Or Maxie, considering he fell in love with everyone. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna award that one to Anna. Maxie died. That's a big downfall. <laughs> True. True. Yeah. Um, Joe, I would say medium or large terrain. Probably large. Why not? Why not go with a large one? Whoever ha Oh, that'd be way too hard, Lord Crumps. I've had enough counting memories. <laughs> Beaches, yes. Yes. We could do a real, like, Australian coastline. It'd be great. Just, like, a coastline of all beach. Be really nice. Okay. Um, well, I think that's good for, uh, for awards. I think that's really good. So what we'll do is we'll award a cash prize. Riverview City map? It could, Lord Crumps. It could. So let's do a, a cash prize of, should we say, a thousand simoleons per award? Hello, JE Girl 518 Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Oh, let me, let me have a look, Joe. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, no, I like it. I like it a lot. I like all these bays. We could do a lot with this map. And then we have a nice little lake over here. And I think, I think there's at least one distant terrain that would work with this map. See, so yeah, that looks good, Joe. You kind of want to see my SimCity 4 skills? <laughs> I mean, we can play it just for funsies if you guys want. Um, but yeah, no, that's really good. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think, um, a thousand simoleons for the awards? Or would you, do you want to do more than that? Do you want to do like 5,000? What do you think? That, yeah, Joe doesn't muck around, Asa. She's the link queen. <laughs> 2,000? I like 2,000. That's a good, uh... Yeah, 5,000 would make a bigger difference. 2,000? We can think about that. We can come back to that. I think 2,000 sounds good. All right, there we go. 2,000 simoleons for the Builder City Challenge. Okay, so yeah, what do we want to do, guys? Let's, uh... <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Um, let's run a poll um, so you guys can vote, okay? I will, I'm will. i all about uh, democracy in this stream community. So let's do a new poll so we can say, what now? Okay. We can do uh, download a BACC hood map. We could create a BACC hood map in sc oh i will see cre i'll say create a map in sc4 um or we can uh yes they will they will mirror's edge and anyone else who wants to join in the builder city challenge is welcome because we need all the sims if you don't want to be played actively you can always be a townie um, which brings me to the third thing we could do, which is uh, make self sims in body shop. Self sim sim selves. That's the word I'm looking for. I don't have enough characters to put the p on the end of body shop, so I'll just say sim selves in body shop. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna run this poll for five minutes. You guys can. Vote. It should now be at the top of your chat window on whatever, um, what's the word? Platform. There we go. You guys are on. So let me know what you would like to do. Yeah. 
true Lord Crumbs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, true Hendrick. It's great that Alex is a man. Yes, we do need more men. We do need more men. I'm gonna have a drink. I feel like we need to like get a group photo as well. Can we bring everybody out the front and get a little group photo? We'll include Maxi in it as well. We'll just have to do that very carefully. No, you can vote, Joe. Why not? Why can't I see that? Oh, I can see them better when we're inside. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hydrate and stretch break. Thank you. Also save. Yeah, I should. <laughs> Posture check and stretch. Okay, let's um, let's do a little stand up. Let's do a little stand up. Oh god. Okay, I've got a lot of posture checks. So uh, let's all let's all get up. Let's raise the desk. <laughs> um, there we go. Okay, and everybody have a nice stretch. So you stretch up. Ooh, that actually feels really good. Ugh, to the side and to the other side okay yep that's nice oh and then we're gonna reach back behind stretch arms out like this what are we voting for we're voting for what we do next jit set what do we do next now that we've uh, completed the asylum challenge which was all I had aimed to do in today's stream. Uh, Hendrik, you're gonna have to get off the bed, my darling. Maxie's gonna disappear. Uh, am I- did I put out an extra OMSP? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, we're gonna have to- well, we'll lose Maxie here for a second, because I have to hit play for a sec. Um, Make unselectable. There we go. And Hendrik, can you get off the bed, please? Okay. No, stay on there. And I'm going to have to turn off free will. Okay, is everybody on their OMSP? Stretch those cankles. Excuse me, Lord Crumbs. I never got cankles. I'll have you know. I stayed cankle free throughout my pregnancy and birth journey. So we're going to pose everyone. It's going to be really fun. I don't have any good pose boxes. I'm going to tell you all right now. I am not Rachems. I wish I was Rachems. Uh, there we go. Oh, and I wasn't standing on that, apparently. There we go. <gasps> this is really, really tedious already. This is why I don't bother taking, like, photos in The Sims. <laughs> uh. Oh, why is it so hard to grab these OMSPs? Grab, 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 grab! <gasps> Joe wasn't even standing on it. <laughs> Joe! <laughs> There we go. And then this one we're going to put here for Maxi. Now, okay. I need... Hold on. Just hold on, everybody. Free will off. Okay. No, stop. Oh, Lord. This is this is like insane. Okay, so, Nini. Um, Nini. Why can't I select Nini properly? Ugh. What's the way to fix this glitch, everybody? Where you like can't select the right sim i don't know okay pose uh let's do peace hendrick's definitely gonna do peace so maybe anna can actually do <laughs> excuse me 
excuse me. Uh, thumbs up. <laughs> Trying to soothe yourself. It is. This is very stressful. Pose. Joe, would you like to do uh, a wave? Yep. Karina, you need to pose somehow that makes you look like you're sleeping. Let's have you sit down. Okay, and then Lily uh, can pose hands on hips. Bethy is going to pose. Ta-da! Um, and then Sharla is going to pose thumbs up. And now Nini. Yes, good. Pose. Uh, hands on hips. Gesundheit. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Everybody hit your poses. Okay, okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh, I did, I did two of them doing thumbs up. Wait, okay. Uh, pose. Flex. Yes, Anna, you need to flex. There we go. <laughs> oh no, imagine, imagine, imagine being this simp. <laughs> You're just like, uh, <laughs> this is totally normal behavior. Uh, hey guys. Hey, it's me. Uh, what are you all up to? Uh, yeah, we're cool. We're cool. All right, I'm also going to <laughs> um, change clothes, casual, everyone on lot. There we go. Okay, now we need to spawn Hendrick in again. I mean, not Hendrick, Maxie. There he is. Maxie's just going to stand there and just be dead. <laughs> it's like getting children to take a group photo. This is totally fine. Oh, and I did two of them with hands on hips as well. Okay, so I'll have to change uh, Lily's pose too. Ah! Ah! I'm fine. I swear I'm fine. Anna, why didn't I use number two? I'm an idiot. Okay. Kind of emotional, I know, right? This is a nice moment. Why won't you, like... Okay, Bethy doesn't want to be on the OMSP. That's fine. She's going to go here. Okay, I can't see Anna. So I need to maybe swap. Maxie just lurking in the background. Okay, Joe, you need to just like step forward a little bit more. This is why I didn't become a photographer. Ah! <laughs> I'm fine, I swear I'm fine. This is all good. All right, we've got it, it's beautiful. Okay, I've got it, I've got it, it's beautiful. Am I going to turn off headlines? Uh, probably a good idea. This is great. I'm having so much fun. Aren't you guys having fun? Is this the stream content that you all subscribe and follow for? I think yes. Um, okay. Well... Uh, I can't. Okay, well, can we take a photo without seeing that purple? It's also raining. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I can see the purple. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that. <laughs> Oh, I got one. <gasps> got one. Hey! Lord Crumbs, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Mirror's Edge. Thank you. Appreciate that. Mirror's Edge, enjoy your new sub and your team OGs. <sighs> okay. Can I take this photo? I can sort of see the purple. And it's really bugging me. Try going further out. Okay. I don't think that's helping. <laughs> what if I... Okay, can I just... Oh, now I'm moving everyone. Oh, Lord Crumbs, thank you so much for gifting your sub to Alex as well. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Alex, enjoy your team emojis. Uh, which are now there for you to use. Okay. So this is clearly something that I need to get better at as a YouTuber and a Sims player, is uh, posing Sims for pictures. However, is this good? I think this is good. Okay, I still can't quite see Maxi. Damn it. Maxi. Just remember, I can't hit play. I can't hit play because Maxi will disappear. <laughs> so that's what makes it really hard. Uh, there we go. Okay. No, stop getting the freaking name tags in the picture. There we go. All right. All right, here we go. This is it. This is the money shot. Everybody ready? Three, two, one. Cheese. Wait, I'm going to like select the right bit. There we go. Cheese. Oh, it's lovely. I'll share that picture in Discord. Should put Maxi in the window in the background. Okay, we'll take another one with Maxi in the window. Hold on. Now I need to rebalance the Sims, though. Uh, Lily. Can, oh, Hendrik? Yeah, sure. Hendrik, you want to come over there? <laughs> What are you snapping to? Are you snapping to an OMSP there? Because I don't want you to do that. There we go. No, I can't quite see Hendrik. No good, no good. There we go. Perfect. I love it. Okay. Now, everybody, three, two, one. Cheese! <laughs> Just Maxi in the window. <laughs> Turn off headlines. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot to do that. Uh, what's the cheat code? Hide headline effects true. Nah. What's the cheat code? What's the cheat code? Send help. Show headlines. Uh, here we go. Need more wine? No worries, shit set. Uh, show headlines off. Does that get rid of... Is that meant to get rid of the plum bob? Oh, toggle plum bob. Thank you, Lord Crumps. Toggle plum bob. No, I didn't like that. Maxi in the window is everything. <laughs> it didn't like toggle plum bob. Did I spell it wrong? Do I need a bull prop? It's not working. Alright, well, you know what we'll do is we'll make this sim selectable. 
And then we can't see it. There we go, it's fine. <laughs> so pretty. I love it. Now let's take one from a little further back and we'll get the house in there as well. Saying goodbye to the Asylum Challenge house on such a rainy day. It's very moody, very emotional. Whoops, there's the sky and the, the ground. Okay. Beautifully done, everybody. Congratulations. Now, what did you guys vote for in the poll? Let's have a look. View results. Download a BACC hood map. Okay, that is what we shall do then. No worries. Yeah, I know. I need to turn headlines back on now. <laughs> Sharla, welcome. You're here. We won. We did it. We, we, we won the Asylum Challenge and also you won an award, I think. Yeah, you won an award for being friends with everybody in the house. Congratulations, you get an extra 2,000 simoleons going into the Builder City Challenge. Uh, okay, so... What's the... What, what? Show headlines on. There we go. There we go! And we'll make that sim unselectable. Okay, well, what we're going to do then is we're going to save. I'm going to leave everybody posed out the front. It's beautiful. And then we shall quit for now. Your sim was never in a fight. No, your, your, your sim was not. However, we, we, we awarded the pacifist award to Hendrik because he was just like so nice to everybody. And he's always like trying to cheer everybody up. You were just busy making out with Anna the whole time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in terms of downloading a hood map then, um, we do have this really nice looking one here that Joe found us. If you guys want this one. Um, Joe, I think I saw that you might have linked another one as well. Did you? Or did you not? Maybe I'm imagining that. Oh, thank you, Mirror's Edge. <laughs> Your sin loved Anna in the bathtub is true. Oh, you did it. Okay. So are we happy with this map here then? I like this. I think this is really nice. Um, so yeah, this is called Bayland, a seaside paradise, large terrain on mod, on, uh, yeah. Do you guys want to keep looking or are we happy with this? I'm cool. Let me know. But yeah, um, also, Sharla, now that you're here, I wanted to know, because so what we're doing is we're going to be um, moving into a Builder City Challenge. Do you want to keep your relationship with Anna? Or do you want to um, move on to someone else? Oh, <laughs> no worries, Jitset. You're fine. All good. You like the caution note? What's the caution note? What am I missing? I don't know. Ah, uh, it'll be modern, Asa. It'll be a modern BACC. Can I zoom in on the road network? Uh, not really. No, zooming in doesn't really work. I could, wait, I can save this image. Uh, so this is Bayland. We'll save that as. And then let's go into my photos. Where is it? Hey, look, it's... Look, it's my baby! But when he was inside... Aww. Sorry, anyway, distracted. Uh, where's Bayland? I j there it is. Oh, in the features description? Oh, okay, I'll have to read it. Okay, so this is the road network. So we have a mountainy road out here across a bridge. Coming into the town over another bridge. We've got like quite a lot of roads, which makes me happy. Um, because I want, I always like having lots of roads. And then, yeah, we've got double bridges leading out over that way. Um, and another road kind of going off into the distance that way. So yeah, I like this. Plus beaches. Yeah, and it's nice and flat. Yeah. Hmm, as much as I like Anna, I feel like maybe our sims can be best friends. I know some in the challenge want their IRL partners added in. 
So I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. My sim can be with a townie, that's fine. I don't feel like making hubby. Okay, no worries, Shala. <laughs> All good. With some modify hood cheat, yeah. I think this one looks really nice. So let's go with that. Also, check this out, dudes. Pregnancy. Anyway, okay. Getting distracted. So what's the caution note? Caution. This is, there is an oceanic leviathan <laughs> on the outskirts that likes to devalue millions of pixels per bite. They will have to breed manta rays and alligators to be able to feed the scary monster. I am not responsible for the plumbies that suffer casualties to compensate. It opts for an implacable population. <laughs> That's funny. I like it. Okay, Bayland. Now I want to, yeah, what if Anna wants to continue it? Well, we'll see. I think if Anna wants to continue it, then um, Charlotte's open to that. That's, that's the vibe I got. Okay, so we're going to put this in. So we may actually now switch over to my other downloads folder, which is my mega folder of Doom. Yes, we may do that. So I may actually put that one in here. Yes, I will. Okay, so SC4 Terrains. Pop that in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Asa? My sister said to me as well, like, um, when she saw me the other day, it's like, oh, it's so weird you're not pregnant anymore. You were pregnant for so long. I'm like, I oh, know. <laughs> pregnant for ages. Your sim is very passive. <laughs> is she taken after you there, Sharla? Also, it's so good to see you, by the way, Sharla. How have you been? Because the last couple times you've come into stream has been when we're ending stream. Oh, Jet Set, that's so cute. I was 19 weeks. A few days before I found out Jelly's gender. Fun time seems so long ago. Definitely. Definitely. Um, okay, so yeah. I've got to do some file management here, guys, so just bear with me for a sec. Okay, so we're going to chuck this one into here. Then I'm going to grab the hood so I can have the sims. And then what I might, I don't know, what's going to be the easiest way of moving these sims over to a new neighborhood? Should I start, um, should I start with fresh version, versions of everybody's sim selves? Or should I have the ones that were in the, in the asylum? Instruct in sim PE and clone. You're doing okay. You've been so busy with work and kiddos and stuff. Luckily, I still have spare times on the weekends to get some simming in. That's good. That's good. Glad you still got a little bit of simming time. So, Joe, would that would that be like they'd have all their memories and stuff? Excuse me. Oh. I am, yes. Today has been a lot better. My energy came back today. So that was good. Cause yeah, do I do we wanna do we wanna have the skills and the memories and the relationships from the asylum? In which case I could use hood replacer. I could use hood replacer. And just replace the hood terrain and then see where the house ends up. <laughs> it might be floating randomly in the sky. Yeah, hood replace. Do we think do hood replace? Um, okay, so asylum. Mega folder of doom. Here we go. Ooh, hang on. There we go. Hi, British K. Welcome. Oh, all good. Good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, 
Let's see then. This ought to be interesting anyway. Um, so let's pop, let's pop Mega Folder of Doom into the main, uh, the main uh, folder. And then let's go into Sims Tools, Sims 2 Tools. Uh, hood Replacer, let's go. Excuse me? Ah. Okay, uh, okay, that's interesting. Alright, so it doesn't like Archelios? That's fine. No worries, so let's pop that in there randomly. Let's try again. Sims Tools, Hood Replace. Alright, so we're going to replace... Oh no, wait, I can't do this until I've made a new neighbourhood, can I? I'm fine, I'm good, I know what I'm doing, I swear. Alright, let's restart the game! Back up before hood, replace, yeah I will. Hello, Zacotomus, Zacopotamus Prime. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Your username is epic. I love it. <laughs> That's a really good one. Welcome into the stream. Sorry, you've just, for anyone who's newly joining the stream right now, you've come at a bit of a transitional period. Um, we've actually just finished our asylum challenge and we are now going to be starting a build a city challenge which means I should change my stream info so let me do that stream info sims 2 uh we won the asylum uh let's start a hood there we go done hi Zantine welcome if you're just popping in this music is very poppy Anyway, I can always age everybody down. In fact, I probably will age everybody down, but I would like to, I would like it if they've still got their relationships with each other and their memories. I just think that would be more fun. Oh, sing mode. All right, Mirror's Edge. Um, would you like a particular song? Actually, I could show you guys a video of me proper singing if you like. Proper singing an Ed Sheeran song. If that's something you would like to see, Mirror's Edge. Alright, hang on. Let me bring that up for you. So I recorded this today. Um, because my friend from high school is getting married in October. And she wants me to sing for her as she walks down the aisle and as she has her first dance. So I was recording some demos for her today for like what song she wanted me to sing. Um, so this is not perfect at, by any stretch because this was like a really quick and dirty demo. But let me bring this up. Um, so here's a video of me proper singing. And while you guys watch this, because I'm going to be embarrassed, I'm going to go and get uh, a drink of water. Be right back. Someone will think this is live. Oh, yeah. Sweep you off of your feet. Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Cause darling, I will be loving you until we're 17. Baby, my. Still for less Heart at 23 I'm thinking about How people Fall in love in mysterious Ways Maybe just the touch Of a hand 
there you go. That's enough of that. <laughs> that's that's me like actually trying. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so what we're we gonna do? Uh, da, ba, ba, ba. Aw, thanks, guys. <laughs> Believe it or not, she decided. Thank you, everybody. You're so nice. Believe it or not, she actually decided to uh, go with a different song and not Ed Sheeran. But that's okay. All right, so we are going to call this uh, Hood Replace Hood. There we go. To replace the hood. And we're just going to make this. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Maybelline. Oh, no. Oh, guys. So my game may have just crashed. <laughs> Not ideal. <laughs> Not ideal. Also, let's uh, restart our... Let's just do our, our chill background music. There we go. Yeah, no, this will work. This will work. Oh, no. If I can get the hood to create. Um, so that, but this is an issue that I had a little while ago. My game kept crashing when I started a new neighborhood and I ended up having to, what did I end up having to do? I had to, I think it was, I had to replace the neighborhood manager file. I think with a blank one. Hi, Nika. Welcome. 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 We're just dealing with some technical difficulties because this is a Sims 2 stream. Um, I think that's right. If I just, if I just delete the neighborhood's manager file, does it just regenerate? Yeah. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that, everybody. All right, reloading. Fingers crossed this works. <laughs> Sorry, that intro music really is very loud, isn't it? <laughs> it's like when Dr. Gluon started playing The Sims 2 and he was like, whoa! Because The Sims 2 intro music is neck, is, is neck level. But yeah, so my friend who's getting married, she decided um, not to go with Ed Sheeran for her Isle song. Weird. Um, she's decided to go for a classic, which is uh, Can't Help Falling in Love. Um, it may, it might, Joe, but last time I had this problem, it did not. Yeah, Alex Art does really great YouTube videos. Sorry for the waiting. Playing Sims 4 over Sims 2 is a technical difficulty, am I right? So true. Elvis or UB40? Uh, Elvis. Like, the, the classic, like, you know. Cause I can't help falling in love. Yeah, that song. That'll be her aisle song. Alright, let's try this again. Bayland. So, Bayland for B-A-C-C. For B-A-C-C. -C. See if this works this time. Nah. <laughs> no luck. <laughs> And it also, it didn't recreate the Neighbourhoods Manager folder. I feel like I need to put a blank one in. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm very glad that mine loads quickly. Oh, UB40 is an Elvis cover. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Played them Sims 4 the other day. It's unreal how buggy the game is. Yeah, right. Oh, dear. I know Karina's been playing it a bit lately as well. High school is high school is not great, yeah. I'm glad I didn't end up buying it. 
Does anyone know where the neighborhood's manager, like, file is? Ugh, I feel like I shouldn't have deleted it. I feel like I should have, like, cut and pasted it somewhere. It's horrible half of the time. <laughs> Uh, I shift delete everything. Oh, here we go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try. Oh! Hey, nice Lord Crumps, you're a genius. I just realized you guys can't even see my screen. Sorry, yes, there we go. Neighborhoods manager is back. You play one of your 100 baby challenge in The Sims 4 and the buggy toddlers drive you insane. Oh no, Zachaphonimus, that sucks. All right, let's try Joe's idea. Let's try um, removing my downloads folder. Um, and also my neighborhoods folder. Yep. Um, let's just put those in here. Let's just, let's try this. Yeah, let's try this. Let's see if this creates a, uh, if, if this will work. <laughs> Take three. Third time's a charm, right? <laughs> okay, sorry, done. Um, is it wrong that I prefer Pet Shop Boys always on my mind over the Elvis original? No, 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 no. Oh, cache files. Good shout. I think they should be empty, but let me double check. Uh, ba -ba. Oh, accessory dot case has actually got some, some some crap in it, so we could try that. All right, Bayland, Bayland, please work this time. Nah, it's dead again. Yeah, no, this is this is an issue that I have had before. Sadly, it's something to, it's something to do with the neighborhood's manager file and I just don't remember what I did to fix it so this sucks unfortunately maybe mm. and it's something to do with like the pets it, it always crashes on creating pets so what I'm gonna do okay what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do Yeah, I could, Lord Crumbs. If I can't get it to work this last time, I will I will go into creating people. What about creating the hood in a fresh new folder completely? That could work as well. Um Yeah, no, 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 that's okay, that's okay. We'll watch that in a sec while the game's loading. Um, what, sorry, what, Alex, what Lord Crumbs is suggesting is that just for the rest of the stream tonight, we uh, go ahead and create some Sims, and then I can sort this out off camera. We can't continue to live in that one square either way, true that. Uh... Is this the pet? Yeah, this is the pet shop, boys. All right, let's check it out. Whoops, wrong thing. You've never used Hood Replace? Oh! Yeah, creating Sims will be fun. I smell you. 
I won't play any more of it just in case I get copyright done. But uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking as well, just said. I was like, I better, I better close that. It's just super annoying. I hate this glitch. I just hate that I thought I'd fixed it as well. And now it's like, oh, uh, yeah, see, this is what happens is it half creates a neighborhood. So it thinks that um, pets is like a complete hood. It's really bizarre. Nah. Okay, guys, sorry. I'm going to have to fix that problem off camera. I am very sorry. I'm very sorry that we are having this issue. I don't know what's causing it, but I will I will solve that off camera. So what we'll do just for uh, the next half an hour or so is we'll jump into Body Shop. Um, and we're, let's make some Sims. So Body Shop, let's go. I will be able to figure it out. I'll just need to come at it with like a fresh brain <laughs> uh, tomorrow. So Alex, uh, as in Lord Crump's Alex, would you like to volunteer as tribute? Can I make you? As a, as a sim? Or anyone else in chat for that matter. Yeah, let's make sim selves. Or Jitsa, if you want to send me some pickies. Go on. <laughs> You're like, oh, go on then, love. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I need I need a front on. Okay? Not smiling, just neutral face passport photo, all right? Front on and side profile. Also, did you guys see on Discord today I was um, messing around in Sims 3 with my old Sim self? It was quite fun, actually. I'll show you guys. It was like... Because um, I'm thinking about rebooting my Sims 3 series on YouTube. Just, just saying. Uh, so, yeah, this is my... Oh, she looks good. Thank you. What did I just... I just messed something up. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, check it out. What do you reckon? Is it possible for a Sims 3 recreation? Your Madonna alter ego, please. No worries, Unimon. Absolutely. Are you in our Discord, Unimon? Because um, I'll just need some pictures to work from. Can't wait for the reboot. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, and I've been working really hard at getting The Sims 3 running. So hopefully I'll be able to do it. I also downloaded a camera mod today because um, the camera in The Sims 3 is really bad. So yeah, I did that too. But yeah, I think she looks quite good actually. Anyway, that was fun. Uh, let's pop Discord back over there. You Okay, cool, yeah. So front on pick and side on pick. Just like blank face, Unimorn. And don't feel embarrassed. When Karina sent me her pic, she was in her pyjamas. So, you know, you got nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Karina. <laughs> no, you didn't actually. No, you weren't in your pics. No, no, Nini. I think Nini was in her pics. Her PJs. Now I'm confused because you guys look similar. But anyway. Um, okay. Let me bring up this. Let's go build Sims. Hey, look. Speaking of. So pretty. <laughs> no shame. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to make Alex. So Alex is a pasty white um, British man. Aren't you, Alex? Oh, look, it looks just like you. Perfect. Don't need to do anything else to this sim. Oh, you want to be based on Madonna. Oh, okay. I, I get you. I get you. No, that's fine. That's fine. I can base you on Madonna. That's absolutely fine. Thank you, Alex. Oh, you're so cute. Look at you. All right. Um. Oh, this is going to be fun. Now, I feel like a lot of pressure, though. <laughs> Because <laughs> I feel like I've talked up my sim creation skills and now I'm going to... You're actually not that pasty either. Uh, so let's give you a... Let's give you a... Oh, 
What is with the body shop lighting also? Can we just talk about that for a minute? There we go, that's better. Yeah, that's good. Um, okay, start with a nice neutral face. And let's just pick out some hair. You got little like ploofly hair on top. Um, okay. You just made Greg? Oh, no worries. Um, if you just, can you just whack it in, um, in Discord? You can DM me. DM me, Greg, if you want, Karina. Just send it to me in our chat. You also have no CC. That's okay. Um, so you are more than welcome to pop them in a direct message to me on Discord. Um, <laughs> judging this by profile picture. So Alex has sent me some actual pics. Alex, are you okay for me to share your pics on screen or would you rather keep me keep them off screen? Um, so if you're in the Discord, um, you can send me a direct message by clicking on my username and sending me a direct message to my username. Okay, so Alex never sleeps. Alex, darling, you never sleep. Um, let's be honest. So this is... Let's see if I can sort of get this to like fit on screen a little bit. I can't shrink that any further. Damn it. That's this is what I'm working from here. This is our lovely Alex. This is Lord Crumps. If you haven't seen him before, he does live stream. So <laughs> that's why I was like, <laughs> I bag CC. I need I bag CC. Like, look at this, guys. Look at this. This is six weeks of not sleeping. Anyway, yeah, this is Alex. So this is what we're trying to make him look like. But I'm just, I'm not sure if I can fit you like on screen as well as Body Shop. That would be nice, but I don't know if Body Shop wants to let me, I mean, well, not enough windows. That's not too bad. There we go. Okay, so, um, your eyes are pale blue. <laughs> Your eyes do look a little bit bloodshot, Alex. <laughs> like, you do you do look a little tired. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> there we go. That's good. Okay. And then hair. Are you off work for a little while, by the way, Alex? Or are you back at work soon? Pretty good. You you were back at work. Why does Alex more alive look more alive with no sleep compared to me with eight plus hours? <laughs> right, mirror's edge. Um, I'm just seeing if I've got any better hair to represent your lovely hair. How dare he have such a beautiful eye colour. You called in sick today, your leg still hurts. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I think... Mm, that's like... <laughs> that's pretty good. It's got like sort of the hairline matching. It's just a little bit long. You're in the Discord now, Josh, awesome. Let me know if you want me to make you as a sim. It probably won't be tonight, it might be next stream, but we will definitely get there. Is this hair too long for you, Alex? Yeah, it is. No, I need to find something that's shorter at the sides. Yeah, 
Don't like that one. Don't like that one. <laughs> what is a quiff? Personally, I just like a quiff. What is a quiff? Is that a British term that I don't understand? Uh, that other hair might be the best one I've got for you. I have a feeling. That one is in the one on screen right now. This one. Okay. Okay, we'll do this one. Perfect. <laughs> At brows. much better okay right so let me see let me see let me see now I have to add your facial hair as well in a minute otherwise it's just not gonna look right but first thing I gotta do is bring your eyes a little further down from there okay quiz quiff is up and over okay cool the quiff is the hair all the hot guys had in TV shows in the 90s. And Josh says it's the most 1950s thing ever. Okay. All right. All right. I like it. Um, right. Now your eyes do need to... What am I looking for? Rotate. Ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. I'm going to make your eyes just a touch smaller. All right, now your eye apex lower is a little more kind of like that. I'm also going to bring that down a bit to give you a bit more eye bag action. Mm -hmm. Right, now that's fine. The quiff seems quite timeless to me. You're timeless to me. Okay, that's good, that's good. Make them a little less wide. I'm also gonna make your eyes a little more squinty. Okay, now your upper apex. Let's see what I can do with this. So it definitely needs to go more like more like that. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, lol ninja. No, lol ninja. Lol. Thanks for the follow, lol. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm currently trying to recreate one of my loyal subscribers as a sim. So, uh, welcome in. Hope you enjoy the, uh, the stream. Okay, now I think also in general, your eyes need to come down. On the, f on the face and we might actually we might just lower your face in general yeah that's a bit better okay now the bottom of your eyes is still not right at all mm-hmm <laughs> Now, if you've never watched me create Sims before, um, I do tend to get rather detailed. So this is this will take me a while. <laughs> Just to let you all know, don't expect this to be a, a quick process. I, I do take my sweet time um, and get, yeah, get pretty into it because I find it very fun. And I do, as you will see, as also see have uh, some custom Sliders, which I am making liberal use of. Where I live, literally 50% of the all the dudes have the same hairstyle. I think that's pretty, pretty standard for men. You guys don't tend to get super original with your hairstyles, do you? Have I got... I'm just going to see. Have I got... Brows that are less like pointy at the ends. 
is what I'm looking for. No, I don't. Bugger. All right, well, we'll stick with these ones then. Um, okay. Also, this hair is not right, Alex. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to change it back to that other one I was using. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, no worries, Charlotte. We'll do. We'll do. Your eyebrows, you do usually get them done, but you have them for a while. You call them your slugs. <laughs> yeah, the hairs, it's way too straight, like along the, um, the hairline. It just, it just doesn't work as well as the other one did, I'm afraid. So let me find what the other one was. Oh, oh. <laughs> Because it's really throwing off your face. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this one's better. Sorry. <laughs> you trust my judgment. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, now for your nosy nose, I will have to go into this one a little bit as well. Ooh. Well, you have a really nice profile. I, have, I feel like I have such a weird profile. Whenever I see other people's face profiles, I'm like, oh, that's nice. Um, okay, let's just go to a nose that's a little more similar. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. I'm not sure I like this skin either. It's like, it's very plastic. I may change it. Okay, I'm going to stop doing this because I've destroyed your whole face. There we go. Um, do I have anything that's a little less like, you know. How's that one? Let's see. Ooh, very shiny. Uh-oh. This is when I'm going to be like, I hate all my skins and I need new ones. Oh, well, it's fine. You really need to get a haircut? Ah, oh, nah, it's fine. Um, okay, so. Uh, this nose is just... This nose is not it. Oh, dear. Alright, to start with. You've got much more of a little button nose compared to this, like, whatever's going on here. Okay. And then let's bring her in slightly. Um, can I get your... Yes. Get that up a little higher. Um, and in a little further. Better. Now your eyes actually as well, now that I'm looking at the side profile, do need to come out a bit. Yes, good. Okay, and then back to the nose. That's nose tip turn. Where's my... Oh yeah, no, that's the one I want. That's the one I want. <laughs> Since a build a city challenge, you might need to grab the scissors yourself. I gave my mum a haircut yesterday, legit. Not yesterday, on the weekend when she came down. She was like, I need you to cut my hair for me. And I was like, okay, mum. Okay, now your nose is a little wider. Why is that so small now? I swear I had that more zoomed in before. Did I, have my, I had that more zoomed in before, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Also, I'm still not happy with your eyes. Sorry, I'll come back. I'll, will I come back to the eyes or will I mess with them now? Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay. Um, right. Let's go. 
Where is the one I'm looking for? I did have it more zoomed in before. I thought I did. A little bit like that. Can I move the nostril? Down. There we go. That's the one I want. Okay, I think I've just made your nose slightly too big. That's better. And then we're going to go down just a little further. Okay, now your face. I should have really started with the face. You're a little bit more plump than this guy. A little bit rounder. I'm going to stop doing terrible British accents. Because that's just embarrassing. Um... Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, and then... The cheeks are not too bad, actually. I think I've gone one clip too plump. Yeah, I have. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so then we'll do... one there right, so your jaw jaw's pretty pretty good actually you're not too mad about that this makes me we want Beth to create me I repress my urges or at least until the sims for the BACC are done oh Hendrick <laughs> I could, I always have time and I don't have to do it on camera either. Like I can do it in my own time. I don't mind. I find creating Sims uh, from real people really fun. Uh, so if you do want me to make you and you're like not comfortable with me doing it on stream or you want me to, um, yeah, like uh, just do it privately, do let me know because I can definitely do that as well. Mm, I'm just going to go up a little I'll have to do a little bit of work in my own time to get this build a city challenge ready anyway so don't stress about it um, but yeah legitimately I find it really fun so <laughs> don't don't worry okay I think, I think, I think, yeah, all right, all right, now back to the brow for a second, I need to do that, and I need to go much wider, and flatter, yep. <laughs> I'd have to shave before making those pics anyway. <laughs> well, consider this uh, your motivation. Okay, mm I really need to just zoom this photo in more. So I'm just going to bring it over on my second screen so I can get it bigger. The mouth is actually not bad. Um, it's actually quite close. <laughs> you can pretend I'm looking right at you. Um, yeah, it's better. Okay, back to the nose for a sec. Bring those nostrils down further. That's better. Okay, the bridge I'm pretty happy with. That's better. Okay. 
So Alex, so far, do you hate it? <laughs> Just saying, I kind of love that you're gonna create Madonna in The Sims. Yeah. Oh, the facial hair will bring it to life, 100%. 100%. Um, it's gonna make all the difference. I think I've made you too, like, round in the face. Like, you're not that round in the face, but, like, <laughs> every time I make you thinner in the face, it doesn't look right. Uh, I will get this right. I will, I will, I will. Don't hate it yet. <laughs> you're like, why have you made me so fat? <laughs> me just, uh nervously over here just tweaking very very slightly yeah the facial hair might help i'm just trying to get it right because it's like your your face is actually quite like s square almost so i'm trying to get it like the right combination of of widths and i think i made it too round up here and not round enough down here so that's what i'm trying to fix now but speaking of, let's get you some facial hair. So, um, is this your normal facial hair, by the way? <laughs> or do you need to shave currently? You have a square head, yeah. Like his whole head, yeah. You normally just have a chin strap. Okay, so do you want the mo? You shave your neck and cheeks. Do you want the mo? I mean, it's quite, you know, yes. I'll get you a better moustache than this. <laughs> yes, moustache. Okay, cool. So just moustache and chin strap. I mean, it's perfect. Like, what about it? Hey. <laughs> anyway um let me see what is that meant to be that's blank so that's useful yeah i know i need the mustache to be a little fuller challenge is getting a combination of moustache and chin strap like I'm not sure what I've got in um, in my stubble category I might be able to give you <laughs> you have always wanted the beard like this I think it looks dope um just personally. What did I just... Oh, damn. Yeah, that, that actually looks quite good. I think that's... I think that's pretty good. Okay, now... I wish I could get a better hair for you because I'm still not happy with the hair and I think it's throwing the whole thing off. So, I'm like... I'm tempted to go CC shopping for you <laughs> to like get you a bit of hair. <laughs> oh dear, my dogs are going insane. How about that one? That's beautiful. Um... No, 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 no. My back and sides are usually 0.5, so very short, and the top is the same length as a quiff, but yeah, that photo is when it's just not made up. Yeah, no, I, I think I've seen you in streams, like with your hair 
shorter and with that with more of that kind of a look what about this one it's not quite right in, in terms of the hairline but I think I think this one is a little better because it's shorter at the sides and then you've still got the yeah you still got the quiff I'm, I'm so happy to know that that has an actual name, by the way, because I always just call it a ploof. <laughs> that does, yeah, it looks a lot closer. Um, otherwise... Yeah, no, so that one's not right. That one's not right. Yeah, the hair density looks good, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. It might be the best option I've got. So therefore, that's what we go with, right? So, okay. What do we think? Ooh! <laughs> okay, Alex, I'm not gonna lie. That photo, like, just popped up and kind of scared the, sh the crap out of me. It was like, who's that? Oh, it's you. <laughs> Oh, you're so good looking. Um, okay. I need to make your eyebrows longer. Can I make your eyebrows longer? Let's see. I don't think I can. Damn it. Where's that slider when I need it? Like for a second, honestly, I thought it was Frodo Baggins. <laughs> Show the stream? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll. Okay, so, I mean, the, this photo is tiny, unfortunately, but this is the photo that just popped up on my, uh, <laughs> on my Discord, and I was like, whoa! <laughs> so we can all see C fine. Yeah, so it needs to be, like, really short and just a little bit of a, a quiff, a floof, a ploof at the top. I swear I've even, like, seen that hair as well, but I just don't have it right now. Always watching. <laughs> exactly. But, yeah, look how long his eyebrows are. Like, I can't, I can't do that here in The Sims. Also, this is, I've given you way more facial hair than that. He does look quite different. Yeah, your eyes look, actually, your eyes look a lot closer together in that photo. So, maybe if I move them closer in oh that's the ticket hey now that's a lot better your facial hair has changed <laughs> it's a perfect example of men looking much younger with no beard and cut hair yeah that's a lot better though and you're smiling so your nostrils look different, but I'm going to ignore that. I think I'm also going to just thin out your bottom lip just a little. And can I make it wider? <laughs> thin lip gang, I feel you. I swear I always feel 10 years younger after I shave, before 25, after 15, yes. I think that's looking a lot more like you now. I'm so glad you sent me this extra photo, to be honest. <laughs> oh, it's amazing what a different angle can do. So what do we think of that, gang? Um, I could take off some of his facial hair if you want to see it without some of the facial hair. I'm thinking that is pretty good. You're impressed? <laughs> Thank you, Alex. <laughs> so you think it looks like you? <laughs> I do like making sim selves. Smaller chin. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Let's take off the facial hair again. Maybe just just a wee touch. There we go. Yeah. A 
Also, did I make your face too long? Maybe I did. Oh, even better. This is this is what I love when it's like every tiny little click just makes it like slightly better. I'm like, oh yes. Hey, you're still messaging. Now I'm still looking at your photo. Stop messaging me. Um, and I think the nose actually just needs to come just a little higher. And I might bring that up just slightly. <laughs> gotcha, Hendrick. <laughs> so yeah, what do we think to this one, everybody? I've made your brow as wide as it could possibly go. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't create some very interesting offspring. Is there any other little tweaks we think we need right here? Um, and this was the original photo I got. Yeah, yeah. In the photo, his head looks more boxy. His sim self has a more curvy face. Okay, let me see what I can do about that. Um... I could do that. Hard head to shape. I think it's the most accurate one. I think it's pretty good. I could tweak this all day, so. <laughs> we should probably just call it. Call it good. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know I had that slider. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Yep, good. What is, did you message me? Oh, the clothes. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, thank you. I'll dress you appropriately when we put you in game. <laughs> All right. Um, for now, I'll just put you in a basic tee um, because that's what you're wearing in your picky. Let me see. Oh, look at all my clothes. Do I have a CC addiction problem? Maybe. Do I have a basic black tea? Who knows? Actually, no, I could put you in an everyday outfit. What do you wear for your everyday outfit? Hold on, let me move that over there. <laughs> do you want, okay, do you actually want a little jumper with an alien on it? As your, as your everyday wear? Is that what you want? <laughs> Masterpiece? Uh, I don't know if I have an alien jumper. CC addiction? No, never. Matching track, so it's pretty dope, isn't it? Um, basic tea, anybody? Here we go, basic black tea, perfect. And then blue jeans. Oh, the jumper and jeans combo. Now be wearing a t-shirt, it's summer. Would you do this look? Anything blue or green or black? Okay. There you go. Black tea, blue jeans. There you go. Perfect. We'll mess with that more. We'll mess with that more. Okay. Now it is almost time for me to finish up streaming. Unfortunately, because everyone's sending me uh, pickies. Um, I'll do Madonna another time. Hey, Josh, what's up? Uh, that picture is probably too blurry, Josh. Can you try to send me one with a little, that's a little clearer. Um, and then Greg is there from Karina. Okay. No, that's fine. I, I should probably stop streaming. I found... Oh, perfect. I'll send you this sim as well, Alex, if you want him. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, I should probably finish up streaming. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have a baby to go and take care of. <laughs> and I should go to bed. Um, you found four shots of Jets and me I like. Do you want them in Discord? Yes, Jet Set. Feel free to send those through. I would like to make me have a baby with my Sims. <laughs> It's kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of weird, dude. <laughs> okay, basically, guys, Alex is feeling his sim self right now. That's that's what we want to. <laughs> that's what we're gonna take away from that. <laughs> No, 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 those Madonna pics are fine, Unimorn. I'll be able to do that. Oh my gosh, my doggy. Hello. Hello, Rocky. What's the matter? What's the matter, boy? Why are you scratching at the door? Why are you scratching at the door, little stupid? What did you make you? What a matter. Oh, what a matter. Oh, what a matter. Rocky, boy. He's having a little freak out about something. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at Hendrick. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, innocent Hendrick. No, okay, guys, I'm going to finish up stream. Uh, this has been really fun. I'm going to share some pickies in Discord of us uh, finishing the Asylum Challenge, of course. And then, yeah, next Wednesday we will uh, keep going with uh, creating sims, setting up the Builder City Challenge. It's going to be a lot of setup the next few Wednesday streams, just FYI. Uh, we won't actually start playing the Builder City Challenge probably for a while. Bonus wild dog, yeah, absolutely. But I hope you all enjoyed this stream. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for everyone who followed during the stream tonight. Lol Nia, Zacopotamus, uh, Josh, J.E. Girl, and Dina, Jessica, and Rich Rua. Thank you all so much for following. <laughs> it's feeling a sim self. <laughs> Just said, you've had too much wine. <laughs> no, thank you all so much for hanging out. I had a lot of fun and I hope you guys did too. I will be back on the weekend for Medieval. And uh, so if you guys want to come to the Medieval streams, uh, you will catch me live Saturday morning my time, Sunday night my time. Otherwise, I'll see you next Wednesday. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night. <laughs>